to do. Most of the time when you see an expression that involves a radical, and it's an indeterminate form, you want to multiply by the conjugate. And we're going to have to do that in the top and bottom. That way we're just multiplying by one and not doing anything illegal, mathematically speaking. So we have square root 18, x squared plus 18x minus x. And I'm going to multiply all of this by the conjugate, which would be square root x squared plus 18x plus x. Okay, very good. Same thing, top and bottom. And then now the beauty is, you don't have to actually sit there and foil out the whole numerator because when you multiply out conjugate pairs, you get a difference of squares. So product of the first two terms, just we'll get rid of the radical. So I'll have x squared plus 18x. Outer and inner products will cancel. And then I just have minus x squared left in the numerator. And then we've got all this square root x squared plus 18x plus x in the denominator. Okay, so now the x squareds cancel. And then looking at what resulted, x is going to infinity. So the numerator is approaching infinity. And the denominator, this is approaching infinity plus this is approaching infinity. It's also approaching infinity. And you might be like, Professor V, we still have an indeterminate form. I don't think you made things better. No, no, but we did. So when you have infinity over infinity, okay, what we can do is divide by the highest power of x that's in the denominator. 